Hey, booze. This is Marsha Holland, Glam Memo. I just want to do my eyes for you today. I've already done my face everything. So I'm going to try to do some yellows and greens. As you can see, I've got green, green, green turban, um, gold, maybe a little silver. I don't know. I'm just going to use all different kinds of colors here. So I'm doing a, obviously you can see I'm doing a video instead of a live because I'm running late again. So I can always stop and start if I have a problem. So, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to use uh, my Benefits Brow Tint or whatever you want to call this. I'm not going to do pencil today, I don't think. So, I've already done the primer and all that good stuff. So, I am just going to go easy on these brows. I may end up changing my mind. It depends on how they turn out. You can always have fun with makeup. You want to be careful with this stuff, though, or any kind of tint like that when you're touching your skin because it will get your skin. So if you don't want it on your skin, go lightly. So we're just going to see what happens. You can see a difference, a slight difference. It's not a lot. So this is called Benefits uh, brow tint, whatever. I got it at Ulta. And no pencil today. I wonder if I can get by with that. Do you think? I don't know. Let's try it. You can tell me. Here we go. Easy, easy. I'm touching my skin. Don't mess up. This is a little bitty tiny brush. Makes for easy application. There is so much stuff out there, guys. <gasps> so much stuff to have fun with. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I like to clean up with Q-tips. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now what I want to do, I don't know. I'm going to use several different palettes, not one particular palette. <sighs> I think I want to do, I think I might want to do, heck, I don't know what I want to do. I think I'll do the nice, I'm going to use my uh, Supernova for one. Got some pretty greens in here, so I'm just gonna play with these greens. See these greens? Let's see what I can come up with. And uh, uh, I'm gonna use a flat brush to start with, and I either do my brow fur, I mean my brow bone first, or the lid. You know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to tell you, you can break the rules. <laughs> Of course, I'm not a makeup artist, so do your own thing. We're just going to go kind of crazy. I do have to go to work. I won't be wearing my turban to work. I'm not allowed to. But I love wearing these turbans for these makeup videos. It seems to kind of just accent everything, don't you think? I get these little turbans from uh, Makeup by Rose, X-O-X-O dot -O com. I don't get anything for them. I don't even know who she is other than she's pretty clever because these are all handmade. So let's do a little bit of smoothing out. Now, I am well known for putting all my colors on first and then blending. But today, I'm going to kind of go nuts with these colors, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's just see. Let's just see. We can play with colors. We can play with colors. We can play with colors. I have a real pretty green from Stila. I've got this. I don't know what this is. 
This is Loose Pigment. And here's some silver glitter. This is by NYX, I think. Yeah, NYX Silver Glitter. But I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do this either. Why don't we see what it is? Okay, I was stick going to stick with my uh, BH Cosmetics stuff. But let's see what the heck this is. This is a loose... I mean, you have to be careful with this. Ooh, that's a glitter too. Okay, ugh. Let's be careful. I'm going to use mini colors. I did a coat of mini colors the other day for your eyes. And that was pretty fun. We use the same brush here. Yes, this is kind of glittery. Let's see what we got. Let's play. Now, I'm going to go the second half of my lid. Oh. Okay. First half was with the green. Second half is with this loose pigment, glittery, silvery, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I have to remember now I'm going to work. So, you know, I can't be real nuts so. My saving grace is I wear glasses, so it kind of covers up some stuff. That's kind of pretty. Kind of, sort of. <gasps> Don't go crazy. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. Okay, I better put this stuff out of the way. Don't you think? Out of the way. Out of the way. Okay, how about a little bit of yellow? We need something, something to accent it. There's all kinds of here. I'm using Supernova and Aurora Lights. Let's see what we got. Now I am gonna use kind of a fluffy brush. It's sort of a short type fluffy brush. What can we do? All right, I'm gonna start out light. Don't know if I'm in light. Let's do a little bit of yellow. Yellow on the bone. Guess what? It is shimmer. <gasps> it is shimmer. You know, sometimes I think of things, and when I start out doing it, it doesn't end up like I was thinking. So, the fun part is just kind of like it's coloring in a coloring book, you know, just start playing. These are dry brushes I'm using. I'm not using wet brushes. With this baked eyeshadow, they say if you use... Uh, wet brushes that they work really really well so okay glitter on my nose <laughs> you can see it's very subtle now what green yellow a little pink let's do a little pink see what that does i got all kinds of pinks here it's kind of a lavender pink we will start with this brighter pink and see what happens i'm using the same brush here and I'm coming up a little further on the outer edge here. You can see it. I can see it. Talk about shimmer now. <gasps> this is absolutely a no-no. You're not supposed to put shimmer on your brow bones. But if you are old and you're just having fun, you can do anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> That's my philosophy. Have fun, man. Can you see it? Do I need to brighten up that yellow a little bit? Let's get another brush. And we will brighten up the yellow. Maybe I should get another yellow from another palette. I got tons, tons. Let's see. Take me back to Brazil. I've got some yellow. 
This is the Rio edition. Let's see what that does. I don't want mustard yellow, though. I can tell you that right now. No mustard. So, let's just kind of bring out some more yellow right here. Oh, you know what? This is going to kind of be a rainbow look. Kind of, sort of. Okay, kind of, sort of. Don't go too nuts. Uh-oh. Got a message and I can't see it because I don't have my glasses. Okay, it's going to be kind of neat. Kind of neat there. You can see those colors. I see them. See them? Should I stop there? Let's put a little bit underneath the brow bone. I'm going to use their white they've got here and let's see what this does. And we're going to highlight. Whoa. Whoa. We're going to highlight that brow bone. <laughs> Whoa, I kind of think maybe I have too much light on me, right? Is it glary? Did I just get blurry or is that my eyes? Hmm. All right, let's see here. I'm using an angled brush. Coming on down here. Kind of blending this out a little bit as I go. I know I usually blend stuff as, you know, all at once. Let's blend this out just a little bit. Look at that. Let's do the other side before I forget what the heck I did. You guys look me up on YouTube. I put all my videos there. Nothing fancy. Glam memo. Absolutely nothing fancy because I don't know how to do fancy. I did figure out how to put my videos up there, though. That's about all. Got some fallout somewhere here. Hmm. All right. I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm going to use... Let me get this out of the way. <clears throat> oh, we could put some blue turquoise. I haven't done that yet. And I think what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of blue in here, but I'll end it up with the green, right? What do you think? I do have some uh, Stila glittery powdered. And of course, I've got my Diamond Dust Stila. Let's see here. We're going to do a little bit of blue right here. So I use the same angled brush and this pretty turquoise right here. Oh, let's see. Get my mirror over here. All right. You can always fix stuff. And come on about halfway over. I think I'll use a different brush, though. Where is that other little brush? There you go. Just a little bitty tiny brush. Ooh, can you see it? I still feel like I have too much light. <laughs> Smooth that out just a little bit. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Let me show you what you do. Brushing it out. If that doesn't do it, get your Q-tip here. And you can remove some of it like that. Q-tips are great. Okay, now let's put a little bit of Stila Green. Hardly ever use this. I got it at Ulta. There's a glittery, and there is one that's a little lighter. Let's do that. And you want to bring down that color there. No spaces. No spaces. What am I going to use for an accent color? 
Good question. <gasps> Do I look like I'm going to a party or something? I could never go to parties. Who would have ever thought you'd put all this color on your eyes and it would be totally acceptable, huh? Who would have thought that? Not in my day. Not in my day. No. Now I'm going to blend this, some of this out, okay? Hang loose. I got to do a uh, an accent color, too. We're going to start blending with the lights. Remember, I didn't do any brow, just the tint. And what I'm looking for here is no sharp I want it all to blend. Ugh. Okay. Pretty good so far. I don't know what to do for my... Um, <sighs> whoa. Don't know what to do for my uh, dimension color. Let me think a second. Should I do a navy blue? Should I do another green? Let's see. Mm -hmm. There's a real dark green in here in the Supernova palette. So let's see what that does. It's a real dark green. Now I'm just having fun with color, guys. Don't be afraid of color. Don't want to cover up that pretty purple. I mean purple. I've got purple on the brain. Don't want to cover up that pretty uh, pink. Barely touching. Just giving myself a little bit of dimension here. See there? Just a little. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a closer look because yesterday I did a video. And after I saw the... Uh, replay of that i saw something i missed drove me crazy i kept saying to myself marcia fix that fix that i never did okay let's just smooth this out just a teeny bit we're going to do a little eyeliner action And I think I took away some of that pretty pink. So I want to get some more of that pretty pink. Mix it in with the same brush. There we go. There we go. And that's all going to shape up here in a minute. I hope. <laughs> Got to do my little bit of glitter. And I'm just going to do this in my, uh, I call these uh, princess dots. Right like that. Right in that tear duct area. Just a little. I just have to. I just have to. See that? Just a little sparkle. I'll put it away now. I won't go, whoop, won't go any further with it. I've got some wild and crazy eyeliner, but I'm going to stay. <laughs> I'm going to stay normal. Kind of normal. There's nothing normal about what I'm doing. Okay. Let's get the pencil action now. Um, I've got this real pretty blue color so we'll do that for the tear line and let's try it out i could probably i don't know if this stuff this is a milani i don't know if it is waterproof smudge proof a uh, good enough to where you could use it as an eyeliner i'm not sure about that so we're not going to do it as an eyeliner but I am going to use uh, my pen from, what is this? 
Let me see what this is first. Oh, my eyes are watering. Yeah, that's nothing. Nothing. I'm going to use my black. Where is it? Black Aculabs for a eyeliner. It's supposed to be. Now, this stuff is really, really good. You want to make sure if you're going to make any changes with it using these pens, you're going to do it while it's fresh because once it dries, it's there. It will be here when I get off work in the morning and I'll have to use my eye makeup remover to get it off. And basically, I'm doing this so I can see where to put my eyelashes. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh. If I drop something, I have to pick it up because Bella will get it, that little stink. Okay, my eyes are watering, so it's making it difficult. And I'm just brushing this on, actually. Yeah, you'll see. Just brushing it on. I kind of like the smudgy look. So that's what I'm going for is a smudgy look. If I wanted a little more distinct, I would use my NYX or even a liquid. But, you know, I don't do very well with liquids. My glitter actually looks like tears. <laughs> this stuff will still be on me when I get off in the morning. And I'm putting a little more on the outer edges. Okay. <sighs> Crazy. Let's do a little bit of mascara. Have to do mascara before I do my um, eyelashes. This is my growth mascara. Look at there. Always do that. Now I can relax and just continue because now I've got it on my nose. <laughs> yeah. I'll get it off in a sec. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. I work tonight, but I'm off tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll remember to make my eye appointment to get my eyes checked. Hopefully. I should have done that a long time ago. Gonna put the glue on my lashes. Gonna put a second coat on the under lashes too. Just give it a twirl. That's all you gotta do is give it a twirl. Okay, guys, let me go do the glue, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm letting the glue dry, or get tacky, rather. So I'm going to put some lips on while I'm waiting for that. So I'm going to use a Melrose Place Gerard Cosmetic uh, pen, pencil to line 
going a little above my natural line. If you have really thin lips, you can do that as long as you don't go overboard with it. You can also use lip pencils, you know, as your overall color, you know, if you want to. Usually the main reason I would even use the lip pencil would be to keep my lipsticks from bleeding. So today I'm going to use my La Jolie Crayon in Mauve Mousse. I felt like pink today with this green. Very creamy. Very pink. <laughs> Very pink. It's okay. I like pink. Got a little out of the line. Be careful. Alright guys, I think my lashes should be nice and tacky. These lashes are, believe it or not, I don't even know. As you can see, here they are right here. They're just wispies. They're probably kiss wispies. I took them out of the box. Ask me why. I don't know why I did that. Clean off your little tool. I use tools. Can't use my fingers. And I grab right in the middle. And that helps me get it in the middle of my eyeball. Right. Here we go. Just aim in there where the eyeliner is. My, in the middle. Kind of turn your wrist up a little. Push. And be careful, don't get too close to your inner eye because it will drive you crazy all night. Mine did. Last night I got too close. I'm going to use a, believe it or not, this is a sandwich toothpick. We're just going to tap it all in. <laughs> And make sure that corner, oops, I just brought it up, so that might be a problem. Maybe not. Then I take my finger and kind of come up a little bit. Push it up just a little without disconnecting it. And I'm going to let, let it dry before I mess with my... Uh, liner yeah you can touch touch your liner up afterwards these little blobs of glue that you see are going to dry clear i am using red aspens latex free glue today wrong mirror i like to use this up close and personal mirror go down push it right in the center want to make sure that you've got your little tool is clean. My little tool I'm using right here came from Ulta. Uh, I got it online. It's an Ardell tool. These lashes are really strange. They're kind of, they're feathery, but they kind of stick out. Yeah. It's okay. I like it. Tap, tap. Seal in, sticking up right there. I may have to add a little touch of glue there. It's very difficult to do. Can't tell if that's the lash or the band. I think it's the lash. You know what I'm going to do, though? You see this little toothpick thingy I'm using? These lashes look funny. This little toothpick thingy I'm using. I'm going to try something. This is the first time I've tried this, so it may be a total fail. I am going to put some glue on the tip end there because I only want a dab. Just 
Just a little dabble, do ya? See if I can mess things up all together, huh? I want it right there. And it will dry. So I can definitely see it right now. Be careful, don't get it in your eyeball. All right, so when that dries a little bit, I will add a little bit in the corners. Oh, look at me, I'm finished, I'm finished, I'm finished, I'm finished. What do you think? Did I go overboard? The glue will dry. I see blobs, but it will dry. Yeah, little tear, diamond, diamond dust, Stila. Now, I will have my glasses on, so look, it won't look so bad, right? How about that? <laughs> okay, that was fun for today. Here's my final look. Yes. Little rainbow action with a big emphasis on the green. Of course, I'll be wearing my black uniform, so it really didn't matter, right? I had fun. Thank you so much. I'm going to go pack my lunch. This is Marsha Holland, Glam Mama. Go look me up. Share, share, share. If you know anyone that's older and they're afraid to wear makeup or maybe they used to wear makeup and they don't anymore because they think they're too old, we'll spank them. Yeah, spank them because you're never too old to have fun, right? Never too old. It's good therapy. So, yeah, you're my therapy. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Share, share. Bye.